Knowing everything you can before adoption is important with every dog, perhaps especially with a pit bull. This is why Animal Wise shares the differences between male and female American pit bull terriers. Size We find individuals of different sizes and colours, so it is difficult to find a definition of the ideal height at the withers for the pit bull. The United Kennel Club suggests its length of the front leg be almost equal to half the height of the dog at the withers. Generally, females tend to be somewhat longer and lighter than males, with males being taller and heavier. Their weight is usually between 35 to 60 pounds or 16 to 27 kilograms in males and between 29 to 51 pounds or 13 to 23 kilograms in females. Character They are dogs full of energy and particularly predisposed to both exercise and training. The pit bull is a very loyal dog to their human family and enjoys being part of the family nucleus, happily learning tricks and behaviours to please their loved ones. It is important to highlight a dog's behaviour is based more on individual factors than breed. Factors related to their training, upbringing and other experiences are much more influential in determining their personality. In terms of behavioural differences between a male and female American Pit Bull Terrier, it is their experience and education which are much more important than their respective sex. Have you ever confused the Pit Bull with the Rottweiler? Discover their differences in the video we share on the card above. Education Being a male or female pit bull does not influence their learning capacity neither. Both sexes respond very well to positive reinforcement and are capable of assimilating a large number of commands, tricks and tasks. They tend to perform very well in dog sports, mainly in those which require agility. Regardless of whether you choose to adopt a male or female pit bull, it is vital you start their educational process from the moment they arrive to the home, preferably during the first months of life. Reproductive cycles. Being a medium-sized dog, we can assume that an American pit bull terrier will reach sexual maturity between 6 to 12 months of age, with males often doing so later than females. The exact age of the first heat in females can vary depending on the characteristics of each individual. Once they reach sexual maturity, male pit bull dogs will be willing to mate throughout the year for almost their entire lifespan. In comparison, females experience two heats per year, each divided into four phases, with a total duration of 15 to 21 days. We can also observe some differences in sexual behaviours. Females will have vaginal bleeding typical of being in heat, usually accompanied by visible inflammation of the vulva. They tend to demand more attention and be more affectionate when in heat, mainly during pro-estrus. Males will be very anxious or nervous whenever they sense female dogs in heat nearby. They'll want to chase them, a potentially problematic behaviour. However, escapism for reproductive purposes can occur in females as well as males. Marking Both sexes mark to communicate with other dogs, generate a common scent, or in response to certain emotions. They do not do so only with urine. Urine marking is much more common in non-neutered dogs, whether male or female, but mainly in non-neutered males. It is very easy to identify this behaviour in males and differentiate it from the physiological need to urinate, since we see the dog raise their paw and expel small streams of urine on vertical surfaces or objects. Female dogs also mark with urine and tend to do so more frequently when they are in heat. This allows them to release pheromones that indicate their availability for mating. Neutering Neutering surgery for females is more expensive than for males as it consists of a more complex procedure. This is known as spaying and is recommended over other types of sterilisation. Spaying can save money in the long run since not being neutered means females reduce the chances of various diseases which can cost money down the line. This is because spaying not only prevents unwanted pregnancies but reduces the chances of certain diseases to zero. Doing so also has a significant impact on the mitigation or elimination of sexual behaviours in both males and females, such as mounting, marking and escapism, especially if carried out early. If you want to continue learning about dog breeds, don't miss the playlist we share here. If you're thinking of adopting a pit bull, share your thoughts in the comments, and we'll see you next time.